Hi everyone, it is the 10th of June of 2023 and I figured I would give a bit of an update on my progress in NGU Idol, which is a game that I have, as you can see here, played for a total of 1,162 days, which seems like a long time, and I mean it is a long time, it is a few years, but it is an idle game, which means that uh, a lot of that time is spent just leaving the game alone. <laughs> but I've started this a few years ago, and I am very close to the end uh, by very close how close I don't know I mean relative speak I'm very close I've maxed out my energy and my magic I'm not going to go through all the mechanics because that's going to that would take ages but I'm just going to go over uh, my current situation here I am on sadistic mode Um I have defeated all the bosses before so I have gotten to boss um, is it 301 is the final boss or 300? I think it's 301. I've defeated the final boss. Um, but I think my goal is to collect all of the these pieces. These pieces of the end. Um, of which I think there's 16. I don't know how you get them all. Um, I still have adventure. In terms of adventure, I mean I've still got... Actually before I do that... Uh, yeah, as you can see, it hungers, rock lobster, amalgamate. I still can't beat them. I'm not strong enough. My adventure stats aren't great enough. I've still got a few more levels to go through. I think one of the pieces you get by uh, using move 69 so many times, maybe maybe 69 times. But yeah, it's got an hour timer on it. I'm up, I'm up to like 30, 30 moves or so. Uh, there is also uh, in here. Um, you know what? I've never actually used this. I've never, I mean, I've saw it. And it's like, oh yeah, that'll be a thing for very later. But I've never actually used it. How much? Hold on one second. See, I never thought about it now, until now that I'm talking about it. Let's clear up all my magic NGU. Put that in there. Take all those off. So I could accumulate enough blood to use this thing. Whatever it is. More blood. More blood, yeah. I mean, it's going to take a while. Uh, if it takes... So if you take, think of it, it takes like... If you think it takes 4 seconds to go up by 1 E18. That's 4 seconds. So 40 seconds for, for 20, 40, 400, 4,000. So just over an hour, if I keep this at this, I'll be able to click it and I'll be able to see what happens. Well, I'm not going to do that on video. I'm not going to let this run for an hour. Um, but, hey, that's interesting. I can't actually speed up this because I've got all my uh, my things maxed out there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what I tend to do at this point is... I tend to have, hold on, let's stick the rest on my en magic NGU. What I tend to do at this point is I tend to have week long rebirths and I always have the, uh, as you can see I've got the alpha alpha and gamma portions active, that's because I've just done some challenges recently, but I always have the beta portions active. So if you look here in the in the store, uh, let's, let's buy more of these. I. Whenever I'm not doing a challenge, I always have these ones active. Uh, so they restart when you rebirth, so I can do that for a week. And they'll last a week, and that's that's great. I usually spend the first day or so just, uh, like, doing the usual, like, um, augment, augmentation. Advanced extra skeleton and energy shield, just put them in. Do blood magic. Uh, one do's. Actually, I should... What am I doing? Yeah, I did it on meh for the, um, for the challenges, but I suppose I could put it on back on Excel now. Yeah, all right then. It'll reset it, but fine. Tell you what. Uh, how much do I need? Probably not much. Uh, oh, actually, quite a lot. Never mind. Oh, whatever. Um, 
Where am I? See, I'm messing around. Right. Well, my wanders has been reset, meaning that, boom, my my set have gone down, so I'm not going to, be able to defeat any more bosses. This rebirth, unless I rebirth, yeah, rebirth. I was thinking, is that the right term for this game? It is. But yeah, I mean, I could put them all. Tell you what, tell you what, let's just let's just do this for a bit. Um, so yeah, I do all this for a few, like a day or so. Blood magic. I have. Oh. I forgot about that. Uh, blood magic. Hope this is in sync. Turn the blood magic back on. So I can see what that does. See if that gets me a piece of the end. Put that back on. But yeah, I've got two pieces of the end. One of. Th I don't know. I know one of them I got through the cards. Uh. I'll go through this in I'll go through this in a moment and, t and just talk about what I generally try and do. Um because I don't want to uh, I mean the way I the way I see it is that I don't want to spend too long like focusing on micromanaging everything. I just sort of set things up in a way that I can feel comfortable like yeah, I'm making I'm I'm doing an all right thing. It's pro general progress. Um so yeah, one of them would be through a card. A card uh which costs 99 of each mail. Uh, cooking is terrible. Uh, cooking, I either... Because cooking, you got to, like, readjust these ingredients. It'll give you extra percentage buffs to your experience. Sometimes I try and, like, match it up to get the best... To get the best, uh... The best, boof, the best boost. You can get these once a day. Sometimes, sometimes I might fiddle it a bit. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and just eat straight away. Uh, oh, I'm still waiting. Gotta wait another five five hours. All right then. Um, yeah, questing. I have auto quest. I did get the major quest available. The major quest available up to fifty because I was active questing for a while. But uh, as you can see, I've all the permanent stuff. I've pretty much got all of them. Um, so yeah, got all on this page. I don't have all the loadout slots because I don't bother messing around with different loadouts now. Uh, like kitty art, don't bother with that. Um, resource three name randomizer, no, nope, don't bother with that. And percentage, I think I I did get a uh, some custom percentages. Uh, tag slots, I don't bother with either. Uh, I've got all the hearts, maxed all the hearts out. In fact, let's look at my inventory. Uh, in my daycare, I've got a few MacGuffins, and I've got these. I think these are like the ultimate. Um, pendants and Looty McLooty face. Looty McLooty face. They are, I think that's like the max out version. Uh, I just sort of keep some stuff here. Most of it's MacGuffins. I just cycle on different MacGuffins. Uh, as you can see, I've got them the max amount of slots there. Uh, I think these are just leftovers that I just sort of like had in my inventory. If we take a look at item list this will be very bad if this is out of sync but item list yeah I'm very I've got most of it it's just the last page now so there's just a few more oh I can filter you out now is that all item 20% uh, boost to your boosts fine yeah so I've just got like about one last page there to do plus a few here but most of them are maxed out uh, let's turn those off. I don't. I, I mean, I could turn the hearts off as well. I don't turn off the the uh, quest items, although I don't get them. But I don't turn them off just in case. I do want to go back, and I don't turn off MacGuffins, obviously. As for the boosts, I get rid of. I turn off all the ones up to one k, max them all out. Which is good. It took a long time for me to realise. Actually, hold on. Let's go back to item. It took me a long time to realise that you could actually max these, max these out. And get a complete bonus from them. But yeah, I do. I basically I do all this for a couple of days in my in my rebirth cycles, where I just focus all on getting stats, um, my wandus, my time machine, all that sort of stuff. And then I switch. Also, I also I put all my hack, all my resource three into hack hack, and then when I'm ready, I swap everything over. For the rest of the rebirth, 
and I will um what will I do? Uh, I'll sort out my wishes out. So I have four wish slots. Uh, oh, well, they're not active right now because I've moved all my stuff. But I tend to have one E18 in energy and magic in the ones that I've got active. And then 5% of my resource three in the active ones as well. And um, when I come to my hacks here, uh, there, I put the rest of my resource three into hacks. Now I'll either put it all into hack hack. And then I'll measure, and then that'll grow for a while, and then I'll divide. Just then I'll just divide it up equally. And the way I divide it up equally is I've got this seven, the custom percentage distribution. I put it to seven percent, so that allows me to just do all of these equally. And then a little bit that's left over will go into hack hack. So that is one of the things. I mean, that is one of the th that seven percent that custom percentage is one of the things that really did uh, help me. But the other ones. The energy and the mana magic one, uh, I don't really use them anymore because there's not really much point. I used to do it because I used to spread out my energy use. But yeah, I'll just stick, I'll, I'll sort of put uh, what I said into wishes. Uh, my resource tray will go into my hacks the way I've described it. Either all hack hack or evenly distributed towards the rest of them with a little bit in hack hack. And the rest will just go into my energy use of whatever I've got left. And then I'll leave that running for maybe a week and then after on like day seven or eight once i've got the final of the yggdrasil i'll harvest it all and then i'll um yeah just upgrade these every now and then yeah i'll harvest it all and then i'll rebirth reactivate my beta potions and then have another go and then every so often I'll have a challenge day where I'll just like maybe once every few months I'll have a challenge day where I'll just go and do some challenges and I always end with the end with a 24 hour challenge now this is all all I've got left now to do is a 20 is one more 24 hour challenge um nine out of ten completions so but the last one I did just recently it took me four hours so I'm gonna leave it again to do any more um how do I handle other things well I actually have as you can see there I got the lazy itapod floor shifter you are lazy uh, that is it's very expensive it's very expensive and it's not that good but it's one of those things where it's really nice to get late on because you sort of it stops you from having to think about something so when I'm in the itapod now I don't even have to think about what zone I'm on it just automatically takes me to whatever uh, as for perks, the thing is, like, I've already maxed out the magic and energy caps, so these caps don't really do anything. And the the amount of bars as well doesn't really make much difference either, because this will refill in like a few in a matter of seconds. And if I if I'm not doing challenges, my rebirths last about a week, so that's really not an issue. So the only things I've really got left to do, it, well, I suppose everything else really. Uh, Actually, speaking of which, if we go to my experience, what I usually spend my experience on is just resource three. I just I'll just do that, just spend a bunch of stuff. So, get some power, some cap, and a few bars as well. Yeah, so then just put it all in hack hack. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting with blood magic to think yeah I'll be able to finally be able to get that see what that does probably give me another piece of the end I imagine uh, I don't know how you get the rest of the end I think uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on uh, um hold on yeah so I think some of them come in these like quirks and perks so but they are I mean, they are quite expensive. Um, let's turn that off. Uh, where is adventure perks? Turn off can afford. Yeah, ng.x is encountered an error and must close. I'm guessing that's that's going to be another piece of the end. And in wishes, you have those. Hold on. 
to die. Was there anything which is? Are you sure you want to shut down? That might be. I think that might give another piece of the end as well. I don't bother with these ones. The ones that um, allow you to um, choose which MacGuffins. Is it? Yeah, it, it will target your first MacGuffin slot instead of a random one. And that is. Blood MacGuffin wasn't so random. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't bother with those. I'm okay with them being random because them being random means that it's going to be evenly distributed over time, um, and I'm okay with that. Than having to like manually move them round just whenever. So, yeah, I do. I do play this casually now. I do go through a few spots where I was very like active, very into it, but you just sort of like slow down, I guess. Um. Yeah, so what I do, let's go through, let's go through each of these. Basic training, I don't have to think about that anymore. Um, adventure, yeah, I'm just mostly in the isopod. I'll, I'll occasionally have to, like, check to see how I can do against bosses, but I don't really do that very often. Maybe I should do it a bit more. Inventory, um, I've already shown what I do there. Augmentation. I keep. I just put all in advanced exoskeleton and energy shield now. I don't bother with the rest of them. Um, the laser squad and quadruple sided laser. They're all right, but they're mostly for the challenges. What else? Uh, advanced training. I don't have to think about that anymore because I got something that allows. Because I got to. I got to a point. You get to a point where it goes so fast that uh, you can then t turn something on or you can unlock something where you need nothing and it's always. Con con like constantly running at max efficiency. A bit annoying though is that I had this target at nineteen, and because now it's always active, I can't, I can't stop, I can't change it to zero like the rest of them. Bit annoying. Uh, time machine, nothing to show there. Blood magic. Yeah, so I usually just I put like a little bit into blood spaghetti and counterfeit gold at the start, and then I run. Um, number boost. I also get like these little ones every now and then. But I'll put it into number boost for like the first day or so. I get to about one e twenty two. Uh, one dues. I have it on Excel unless I'm doing a challenge, which I'll put it on meh or ninety eight maybe even. NGUs. I just cap. I just cap them. I'm at the point now where the most of them are running at max speed, even on sadistic. Yggdrasil. Um. Yeah. Just wait till it gets to the end. Uh, th as for use poop, I don't actually. Um, I've got I've collected so many of it. I haven't actually logged into that for a long time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I keep. I keep a nice supply of it. Maybe could add a bit more, I guess. Uh, gold diggers, I've got them all. I just have them on all of the time. Don't have to think. I don't have to think about gold diggers anymore. Other than I have to turn them on when I rebirth, which can be a bit annoying in during challenge if I forget to do that. I think it would be neat if, and because I, I am so far in this now, it would be nice neat if there was uh, an option in 4G sellout shop where you could get an automatic, you know, apply to everything, thing. Um, beads of power. Don't have to think about it anymore. It's all just always running at max efficiency, no matter what. Uh, questing. I just have it. I just have it run automatically. I might at some point think like, "All oh, right, okay, yeah, I'll do." I, I might if I feel if if I feel like it. I might turn off use major quests and then have like a bout of active questing. Um, but I don't bother. I just don't bother. Um, what else is there? Hacks. I've explained that wishes. I've explained that. Uh, what I do with cards, at least at the moment, is I just cut the the good and the great ones. Anything that's good or greater than that. So good, great, hot damn and chonker. I'll cast those and I'll eat the rest of them. And this is partly why I don't bother with tags. Because, uh, well, the idea of tags, I, I mean, the idea is, is that there's going to be certain things you're going to want to to boost so if you look at bonuses panel this is the total bonuses from uh, from cards 
Uh, but I can... I mean, the idea is, like, maybe early on you want to get some attack and defense, and then maybe towards the end you want to focus more on, um, like, adventure stats, maybe, or PP gain or QP gain. Actually, no, no, I think I'm getting that mixed up. I think hack speed and wish speed is the thing you'd want early on, and then eventually you'd want to, like, put it down to more, like, short-term things, things that will boost you up. But So that is what tag panel's for. You can get tags so you can turn a tag on. So it changes the probability in favour of that thing, but it doesn't give you more overall. It only alters it. So I just, I just don't bother. I just, I just leave all the tags off. I don't bother with tags, and I'll just, I'll just cast everything that's, uh, or no, I cast everything that's good or greater, and eat the rest of it. Um. Yeah, the only thing is, is when you get the chonkers, is that. Uh, sometimes they can take up a lot of one type of mail so it can really mess up your distribution here as you can see for this red the angry mail I've got very little of it and and then cooking yeah I watch what I've done with cooking and then spend experience just resource do 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 so where am I going from here um well I have to, I mean my main thing is I need to get the different pieces of the end, but I'm going to just sort, I'm still just going to play it like casually, I'm not, I'm not going to like really like deeply think about things, oh I didn't talk about experience did I, yeah I'll mostly just spend my experience on, I think I did, just on, on resource, maybe, maybe every now and then I'll put some in adventure stats, and maybe on the, um, attack and defense boost for rich, rich jerks but I don't really need that now once I mean once I've once I've defeated the final 24 hour challenge this is going to be mostly useless there's like no value to it at all but yeah I mean all the like one time purchases I've pretty much got them all like experience wise yeah all the ones in Yggdrasil all the misc ones adventure special and then there's adventure stats and then the rest of them are just yeah, I mean, if you look at uh, if you look at like energy and magic here, so energy is capped. Both capped, that their cap is capped, and I think that's five quintillion. That's not well nine quintillion. That's nine e eighteen, um, and their power is also capped. So. Let's change that to a zero. So the only thing to improve with those two now is their is their bars. But once I rebirth, it it's a matter of seconds anyway. So there's not really any point in doing that. It's mostly just resource, uh, resource three. I've called I just call my resource three resource, resource three and some adventure stats. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing for a while, um, you know, work on my hacks, work on work on my wishes, and then maybe, maybe in a, I'll work on my NGUs. I mean the, the I mean they're not active right now. I mean the, there's such diminishing returns with those, but eventually, maybe, maybe in a month or two months or something, I'll, uh, I'll do the final. 24 hour challenge um maybe but extra 2% experience from titans I mean the things I really need are I think hacks and wishes I think those are the two big ones so my experience is all just going to go into resource 3 um, I mean, I, I will need to put some in adventure stats as well because, you know, I've got these these titans and stuff. And that can get me more powerful equipment. So, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking my results here are rather skewed because of how inactive I've been for a long time. Um, meaning that some things, it's like for the amount of distance that I've covered, there's some things that are very weak, if you get what I mean, compared to how they should be. Uh, but yeah, it's just a—it's just going to be a case of 
keep at it for a while, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna turn those on anymore. Uh, yeah, just stick it all in. And G use. Oh, actually, no. I need to. Mm. I have it in wishes. I was thinking, why is that being so effective? Right. Uh, wishes. Page two. One and eighteen. Where am I? Where am I? Right. One and eighteen, and both of you. Yeah, that's fine. So it is just going to be a case of um, just keeping at it. Yeah, excellent game, I must say. I mean, it's taken me. I mean, I'm what I'm three years into it now. It's ta it it it's one of those games that takes a very very long time to actually get anywhere, um, and things unlock very slowly. Like. For example, for a long time you've only got like a few of these options at the top and then you very slowly, very, very slowly unlock these new ones. Like I think that's when I un you unlock is cooking and I think I unlocked that two years in. And I'm now about three years in. Um, but yeah, I'll use that, probably get another piece at the end. Interesting to see how that works. Um, nearly 1% of the way there, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So that's everything, really. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.